feel it. You know? wow. Now it is playing the sticker, right? So I'll, I'll feel a little bit, right? So if I it's still blowing, right? I can touch it here. I can touch it here. I can touch it here. And I can wow. Touch it just can it's completely full. Cool. Contains the heat. Completely full. Cool. Right. So that's right. the structure. So this is uh, Alfred is really a, a treasure, of course, for Allegheny County. But for, and of course, for the southern tier. But it's also a treasure for all of America because the kind of research and expertise on ceramics is unique. And as we learn more and more, as we develop in, in new ways in technology, that just these kinds of expertise are vital to the future prosperity and national security of our country. And it's, that Alfred has been awarded a first of its kind, $4 million project to partner with the United States Army to help us win the global race in hypersonics. You all did it. Um, it's, it sounds like something out of Star Wars, right? Who has the light source here? <laughs> in any case, but you aren't far off, because this research is going to be testing and finding materials, particularly ceramics, that can travel at supersonic speeds that's beyond Mach 5, or as in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn we call it really effing fast, <laughs> so that they can make faster missiles, and we can't risk falling behind. And Alfred is only one of two facilities in the entire country that can do this kind of cutting edge research, the likes of which the world has never seen making, literally making one of the strongest, most durable materials ever. It's incredible. And of course it's going to have this military application with hypersonics, but you can be sure it's going to have lots of commercial applications and make our lives better and richer and more productive in ways that you can't even imagine. The funding um, is going to take Alfred's already world-renowned program and turn up the heat even further training the next generation of Southern Tier scientists who will make the world world-changing discoveries. Not only is this one of the biggest awards that Alfred has ever seen, it represents one of the first major partnerships with the U.S. Army research on this scale, and that's going to prove very productive as well. The fact that the Army is willing to make this investment speaks to the incredibly high caliber of this ceramics department and the research programs right here. And I have good news, as many of you know, I passed something called the Chips and Science Bill last week, which was signed by the President. It was my idea. And we knew that in, when we invest in science, it pays huge dividends. The original name of the bill, I named it the Endless Frontiers Act. So investing in science, so endless, that's why I wanted to call it Endless Frontier, but um, some of my colleagues said, no one knows what you're talking about. <laughs> in the 1970s, NASA reached out to the materials community with a huge challenge. They wanted a material that was super lightweight, super strong, and could withstand exit and re-entry into our atmosphere. This huge challenge brought together engineers and scientists from across the globe, and the technological and scientific breakthroughs that happened right here at Alfred University paved the way for the first successful shuttle launch in 1981. Today we have new challenges, but along the same lines. We need to discover, characterize, and manufacture a new generation of materials that can handle even more extreme temperatures.